Uh, Keegan, we've talked all about the blocking moves now. Now let's talk about where we like them to stand. And so if if our setter here is serving, um, we like to teach kind of this bunch read move and the outside hitter might be uh, several feet away from the middle and then the opposite's a little bit closer to the middle. Uh, what do you like about this kind of base defense we're looking at here? Yeah, I'm, I'm a... Uh... Chris, is it reverse for you? Is, is our H, are we in row one here, right? Am I seeing this right? Is Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, we're switch blocking. Yeah, okay. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> it's something I studied for a long time. It always bothered me that, that volleyball is not a symmetrical game. And this is the thing that bothered me most, that we would space our blockers differently. And so I was on a crusade to end that. And But what I found is the game is a bit asymmetrical due to the fact that our, that our setters are coming from right back. And so... Um, you, you see a lot of uh, quick attacks that, that end up uh, closer to where the H1 and M2, as they're labeled on this chart, are. And it means that your left front blocker is in a great position to, to help on those quicks. Um, yep. With most people's passing target being slightly right of center, I think that is, is why we have that blocker bunched in uh, kind of hand to elbow, we would say, as, as a reference, a little closer than the opposite who we think is going to be uh, needing to uh, make a large number of moves towards the outside hitter. I think at least 50% of almost every level of plays offense is going to the outside. So our right front blocker needs to be in a great position to, to go handle that. And then we'll have some different moves and tactics to handle what we would call a gap attack, you know, so that that's some thoughts on starting position. Um, yeah. I, I want them to be equally spaced, but, nothing that I'm doing is giving me the information to do that. 